Hi y'all and welcome or welcome back to DIY Rowdy House. My name is Amber and today we will be doing three Dollar Tree DIYs. I hope you guys enjoy and if you do please hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks. I hope each and every one of you had a great Thanksgiving. Let's get started with DIY number one. All right y'all for DIY number one we're gonna need a terrarium planter. Here I'm taking my hot glue gun and trying to melt a hole in the bottom so that I can run string lights up through it. I could not get my hot glue gun to go all the way through but it left a big enough indention that I could take a drill bit and drill the hole out. With this DIY we are going to be making a little light up winter scenery ornament. Now right here I'm getting my drill and my bit. I'm pretty sure that this is a 3 8 inch. I just drill where that indention is out. That way I can feed my string lights up through there. Now mine are not Dollar Tree ones, but you can get them from Dollar Tree. Mine came from a secondhand store and I paid a dollar for them. Right here I'm feeding the lights through and just getting it to where I can get that battery pack mounted to the very bottom of the terrarium. I'm just going to take that wire and that battery pack and loop it around to where I can get it stuck pretty much all down on the bottom to where it's sort of hidden. And we are going to cover this up later on and make sure that you can slide the battery pack off. So I glue the top on there that way I can remove the batteries and put new batteries in later on. Now right here I'm just tacking everything down, making sure it's out of the way. I put a little glue on the inside to secure that copper wire within the lights. That way it's tacked down to where I can move it and bend it to where I want it to be without it pulling on that wire too much from the battery pack itself. Here I'm just wrapping it around a tree. This is one of the cobblestone Christmas trees. I get it wrapped around, tack it down where I think it looks good, and then get it put in there. And I glue it down inside of that terrarium so it's not moving around. Then I take my second tree and I glue it in there. And this was sort of difficult so I had to be patient and take my time and you can see that I struggle a little bit but I get it in there eventually. And once that glue is set up well then I start bending and wrapping that wire around that second tree and I use a popsicle stick and the hole on the side to be able to manipulate that wire where I want it to go on that tree. So just take your time and be patient when you're doing this because it is a little bit time consuming but it'll eventually get there. You just have to bend the tree around and bend the lights around and just work it until you finally get it to where you want. Now once I get it put where I like I take two of the mini bottle brush trees and I had removed the base off of those and glued foam together that I cut in squares to place some trees down in there. That way they will still be raised but the white foam will disguise that they are lifted and it just allows them to set up a little bit higher because I didn't like how short they were in front of the bigger trees. I wanted them to be a little bit taller. So I get those placed where I like them and then I start taking the wire fairy lights and wrapping them around the little trees. Now you guys this is just you know inspiration. You guys could take another one of the cobblestone trees that are bigger like the ones that I placed in the back and you could trim them down to where you have a bigger fuller tree up front. I mean you guys can just let your imagination go wild and you could do the colored trees that they have out this year or you could do just the two big trees and maybe some presents in front. 
I'm just taking that wire though and getting it all wrapped around those trees to where I think it looks good. And then once I get that done, I had went in my stash and found a cork from a wine bottle that I had bought at a yard sale. I bought a whole big bunch of them for a dollar. I placed that in the hole and now I'm taking my hot glue gun and putting in just globs of glue in and around those trees and packing the faux snow on top of there to make it look like the ground is all snowy and I wish I could find the glittery like shimmery faux snow but my Dollar Tree hasn't had it in yet but this snow like I've said in previous videos is just a bag that I got at a yard sale or a secondhand store for around a dollar or so. Whoever I bought it from from the yard sale originally bought it from Hobby Lobby because that's what it says on the back by the barcode. Now I'm just packing that snow in there getting it as thick and full as I see fit and that I like. You don't have to go with this much. You could just go with a light dusting. You could take some hot glue and put some of it up on the trees it's just really up to you and what you like and what your taste is you could even go with even more snow if you would like you could put foam in there and build it up and make mounds I mean this is really just inspiration guys you can do all kinds of things Especially when it comes to the little snow globes, the terrariums, the clear Christmas bulbs. I mean, it's just really up to you and what you guys like. And I really do hope that these crafts inspire you to do some of your own. Now here I'm just taking some twigs from the yard. I cut them down. Some of them I peeled the bark off of. And I'm just breaking them into small pieces and gluing them in there. And I just wanted sort of that nature outside winter look. And you always see fallen tree branches and logs and stuff laying in the woods. So that's what I was going for. I took a little bit of moss, put it on top of some of those sticks and logs for the mossy look just like you would see outside in nature and I also glued that little red sled down there in the very front I thought it was a cute touch like someone maybe had been out there sledding or maybe they pulled the sled up there to cut down a Christmas tree and towed it home now right here I'm measuring some of the big popsicle sticks from Dollar Tree and cutting them out and I'm going to use these to make a little box around the battery pack. I ended up using two per side and these are easy to cut with just a pair of scissors and I'm building this box so that I can hide that battery pack a little bit and we're going to actually turn it into a present. Now I love some loose faux snow that I shook to the back and when I was moving it around there to measure them popsicle sticks I ended up dumping all that out so I was just putting that back in there and shaking it back towards the back of the terrarium. When gluing this down to the battery pack you want to make sure that you stay on the bottom portion of that battery pack. You do not want to glue it to that top little lid piece or you're not going to be able to remove the bottom portion so that you can change the batteries out. And as you can see I am just taking them two little popsicle sticks and gluing them on top of each other and then gluing them to that bottom portion of the battery pack just to make a little box right around it so we can hide it and cover it up. I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. We went out of state and seen family down in Arkansas this year. We ended up cutting our time short and coming home early because we were just exhausted. 
but it was nice to see everybody and get to spend some time with family. That we have all been still dealing with the sinus issues and allergy issues. Now right here on this side, I'm actually taking and cutting a little notch out for that piece of the uh, wire cord that comes out from the box. And then I also took some pieces of popsicle sticks that I cut off of the others and sort of building it up. That way it would give a little bit more room for that wire to lay in there and it not be pushing on that popsicle stick too much. That and I wanted to make sure that that wire did not get glued down because if it did, then I wouldn't be able to remove the battery pack. Here I'm just taking some hot glue, using it to weld them seams together of the box. And on the very back, I only used one popsicle stick, and I actually ended up cutting it down. That way, it wasn't in the way of me sliding it off of that lid piece. Now here I'm just taking some buffalo check ribbon. Pretty sure I got this one from Dollar General, but you can find it at Dollar Tree as well. I cut it down, and I'm just hot gluing it around that box, but I'm not going to glue it across the back because that back piece needs to be able to slide in and out off of that lid piece so that you can change the batteries out. Here I was just taking a lighter to melt down some of the glue that was stringing through the ribbon. Now here I'm taking one of the Christmas tree ties and I'm going to use that for my hanger. And then I'm going to make a bow out of this ribbon. This was just a piece of leftover ribbon that I had from a project from a long time ago and I just saved it and now I'm reusing it. I make my bow and then I tack down my jute twine and then I just wrap my jute twine around the center, get it to where I think it looks good, hot glue down the other piece and then snip it off and then there's my bow. Fluff it out here and make it look all nice and pretty and then I'm going to dovetail the ends and then glue it right at the base of that hanger on that little plastic loop of the terrarium. Now here I just take another little sliver that I cut off of that buffalo check ribbon and I'm just covering up that top little piece of the front of the box that way it sort of hides and disguises the wood and plastic because you could see down in through the top of it. Now here I'm taking this thicker jute cord. This was from a previous video and I just use it to wrap around that little wreath hanger that I made. And I'm just wrapping it around and then tacking it down and gluing it in place. I make a little jute twine bow, just a little shoelace bow. That little shoelace bow I am going to glue to the top of my little wreath. Get it in place. And I play around with a couple ideas of putting, you know, jute twine around the bottom. Maybe a bell. Then I decide on the thicker jute twine to go around the center of my box. All the way around from one side to the other, but don't cover up that back. Then I make another little shoelace bow. And I'm going to glue it down to the very front of that little present box that we made. Now here is some of the berry garland. This was actually a Valentine's Day one. I know that they do carry it around Christmas time. This is just a glittery red one. I cut it down. And just cut right below the berries and I'm going to take them and glue them all around the wreath where I think that they look good. 
You guys could do any color. You don't have to do the red. And then I take a couple of them pine cones from my dollar bag that I got from a yard sale. And I just put them in between each of those berry spots to fill the wreath up a little bit more. If you guys like my DIYs, please hit that like and subscribe button. Also, leave me comments. I love talking to you guys and hearing your thoughts, opinions, and everything. And I always try to respond back to you guys as quick as possible. Now, I show how to remove the that the battery pack slides away from the bottom. And now I'm just showing you what it looks like with the lights on and the lights off. And here we are. It's done. I think this is absolutely adorable. I love the little winter sceneries. My kids love it. And I hope you did too. So let's get started with DIY number two. Okay, for this DIY, I'm going to be using one of the Dollar Tree little wood cutting boards from the Crafter Square section. I'm going to drill a hole in the handle, just like you would see with a regular cutting board. Now, I didn't get it perfectly center because it had a little bit of a knot up there, which kept making my drill bit slide off, but that's perfectly fine. I stain it with Waverly Antique Wax, and then I take some popsicle sticks that I'm cutting down, and I'm going to turn them into my roof. We're going to be turning this into a little barn. Now here I'm taking Folk Art Sterling Silver, and I'm going to paint those roof pieces. Then I'm going to glue them down with a hot glue gun. And then I'm going to take the smaller popsicle sticks and I'm going to mark and cut them down to make my little barn door. These are real easy to cut down with just a pair of scissors. I just marked, cut, and then hot glued down the size that I thought was the perfect size for this DIY. And this is just for inspiration. You can always change the colors up, make it your own. You could do the cutting board in red. You could do the door trim and the roof in a different color. It's just really up to your preference on colors and how you would like it to be. Now right here, I'm just taking that popsicle stick, marking and cutting to make my cross beams for the door. Trim off a little bit if it needs to be trimmed off. It sits down in there pretty tight. Let me know down in the comments below what other DIYs you guys would be interested in watching. I think my next video, I am going to be doing winter decor that you can keep up all winter long. Here I'm just finishing up that last little piece of the door, getting it trimmed down and fit to size. The first piece I didn't quite care for, so I just made it another one, got it to where it fit down in there real well, and then hot glued it down in place. Now I'm going to be taking a popsicle stick, and I'm going to actually split it in half. That way it's thinner and I'm going to cut it down to make me a little window above my door. I'm just going to trim it down with the scissors, get it to the size that I think looks good for the size of the project, get it hot glued down into place, and I just estimated the size on all of these or held them up next to each other to get the measurements and then marked and cut them down and then glued them down. Now once I get them all glued down, I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to just mark the center piece for my door. I will do that to create the natural shadow of the door. Then I cut two little handles off of that split piece that I had left over. And I take my scissors and sort of etch over that pencil line to give it some depth in the popsicle sticks for the actual opening of the door. 
and then I go back over with the lead pencil to deepen that color in those grooves that I made. Then I'm going to take my furniture marker in the color maple from Dollar Tree and I'm going to go over that seam line that I created and I'm just going to make markings all over the door pieces and the window trim to give it sort of a faux cedar look. Now here I'm just taking some Dollar Tree white acrylic paint and a little bit of water and I'm just brushing that over the door pieces and giving it sort of a white wash to tone down the maple color. And then once I get that done and get it all completely covered, then I'll go back in with a damp washcloth and wipe off the excess. And if you guys are liking my channel so far, please go hit that like and subscribe button and make sure you set that bell to all. That way you guys know when I upload. Thanks. Next, I'm going to take one of the Dollar Tree Greenery Ties and I'm going to trim it down with a pair of scissors after I get it cut to the size that I like. I'm going to turn this into a little wreath for the top of our barn. I'm going to just trim it down, then twist it together at the end, do a little bit more trimming, and then I'm going to just hot glue it right to the center of that top window. Now here I'm just going to remove the little gold berries from a little Christmas accent piece that I got in my mix bag from a yard sale for a dollar. I'm going to glue those down and around the wreath. <laughs> then I'm going to take these little red potpourri berry stems that come from the same bag and I'm going to pull the little berries off and put them around the wreath in between each of the gold pieces. Now I'm going to take some of that faux snow that I got from a yard sale for a dollar. This bag originally came from Hobby Lobby for a buck ninety nine. And I'm just going to hot glue the roof a little bit and add some of that faux snow on there just to make it look like snow fell on the roof naturally. Brush off the excess, glue down any pieces that were sticking up pretty high compared to the rest. Just get it to where it looks the way you want. Now I'm taking some of that Mod Podge and I'm just dabbing with my finger over the snow on the roof, some on the wreath, and then I'm going to take some of the Dollar Tree glitter in the color white. It's sort of that white iridescent glitter. And then I'm just going to sprinkle it all over where I laid that Mod Podge, dump off the excess, now I'm adding a jute twine hanger to the top. I'm going to take some Dollar Tree Buffalo Check Ribbon. Make a little bow. I add a twist tie from a bread sack to the center. Clip it off. Then add that little extra piece to the center to cover up that wire. I glued it in half and then glued it to the bow, trim down my ends, I dovetail the ends, then I take a lighter and burn off of any of the excess scraggly pieces there and then I glue it over the hole in the cutting board. Now I'm just taking some greenery. This was from that dollar bag that I got from a yard sale that was a mixed bunch of stuff. I cut down a few pieces, add it behind my bow, and here it is. I think this Christmas barn cutting board is just so beautiful and makes a perfect Christmas ornament. Now on to DIY number three. Now here we're going to take some greenery stems. These are just leftovers that I had laying around and it seems like they accumulate and you don't know what to do with them. I cut them down into two pieces. 
then I hot glue them together. Now I'm going to take some of that Dollar Tree fluffy yarn and I'm going to wrap it once and then go back and wrap it again, tacking it at the ends and a few times in between to make these candy canes. And with that wire being malleable, you can bend it into the candy cane shape very easy. Now I'm just taking the jute twine, doing the same thing, and that is going to be my stripes for my candy canes. Now I'm going to take both the candy canes and I'm going to crisscross them, glue them together. Now I'm going to take some jute twine, wrap it around them for that extra security. Get that on there, hot glue it down, and then I'm going to take one of them greenery ties from Dollar Tree, trim it down, glue it down, and then I'm going to take some boxwood greenery. I'm not sure where I got this. I know that you can get some from Dollar Tree. I think this came in that mixed bag of dollar stuff from the yard sale. Take another piece of that Christmas tree tie, trim it down, and glue it down to cover up the boxwood stems. Now this ribbon I got from Dollar General. I know that Dollar Tree sells ribbon similar to this. This is a burlap one that I found. It was just a dollar. I put a curly Q piece that goes from side to side and then I make a little bow and add it to the very top. I trimmed down the ends because I thought it was sticking out too far and I glue them up underneath the bow. And here it is. I think these candy canes are absolutely beautiful and it gets rid of some of them old pick stems. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. See you next time.